All right, I'm gonna just start this video out by saying I look like shit. But in my defense, I wasn't expecting content to drop three hours before it usually does. Shorter video today, we got a brand new headliner to go over, and then we also got a hint for a card that's gonna be in Thursday's featured premiere program. So let's hop right into it. The brand new headliner is a 95 overall Curtis Granderson, the Grandy Man, a Silver Slugger card from when he was with the Yankees. Pretty low contact on this card with only 78 and 85. He's actually better versus lefties all around, but the power is pretty nuts. 101 power right and 121 power left, if I remember correctly, he also has a really nice left-handed swing, so I feel like this card's gonna actually play pretty good. He seems like somebody that's gonna be an all-star killer. But then once you move on to the higher ranks, like Hall of Fame legend, then you may start to struggle with him a little bit. But I really like the power on this card. He also has 89 fielding with 72 speed, so he's definitely good enough to play center field. A little bit slower on for a center fielder that I like, but he can play the outfield. He roam, he's gonna make plays, good swing, good power. I think this card's gonna be a budget beast. But like I said, he's probably only gonna be relevant for all, all the way up to All-Star. Once you get to Hall of Fame and everything, he might not be that good, but we're gonna open, let's open two packs. See if we can pull him. I actually do like Randy. He was a brewer at one point. Dude's a freaking legend. We do get a gold out of this, Tristan McKenzie. Then like two silvers, man. These headliner packs have not done well. What's the jersey? We also got a Minnesota Twins road jersey. I always forget to move my fat ass out of the way. But yeah, we got that Twins road jersey right there. All right, one more. Let's see if we can clutch up here. Get me a diamond. Get me a diamond. No, we get a gold. Liam Hendricks. You know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna open the rest of them. I have no control over my impulse decisions that I make. I didn't get something good, I wanna get something good, so I just keep opening packs, and I fully expect to pull two more silvers out of the remaining packs. It's just how it goes, man. But let me know in the comments section, what do you think of this 95 overall Curtis Granderson card? He's a reward card. We don't have a ton of them, I believe, so he's gonna help with the George Brett collection. And we're down to our final pack, Uno Mas. We have not had a lot of luck so far. And it's gonna continue. We got three, two silvers. Man, this is just a slap in the face at this point. But yeah, Curtis Granderson, let me know your thoughts. Well, we also got another hint for who's gonna be in the feature program coming on Thursday. This player has won the MVP three times. He's a three-time World Series champ and a seven-time batting champ. I'm telling you right now, it's Stan Musial. You don't even need to wait for the reveal. But Stan cards are usually really, really OP hitting stats. I like his left-handed swing. It's just kind of blah, but it does really good. It's effective. He's gonna have good stats. He's just gonna be a terrible outfielder, which is another reason we need a damn DH in this game, man. So we'll have Stan the Man, and that's also to go on top of Raleigh Fingers 96 overall. So Stan the Man probably gonna be same overall, right around that 96. And now we know two of the five. So we'll probably hear one more tomorrow, and then we'll probably learn about the rest on Thursday or something when the program drops. I don't know. But let me know what you think of the Granny Man as the new headliner reward and Stan the Man more than likely, like 95% sure, being in the new feature program coming on Thursday. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.